Hey guys, in this video we will learn how to import Mixamo characters with animation in Unity. So let's get started. First of all, go to Mixamo.com and create an account. It is completely free. After creating an account, go to Characters tab and here you can choose different kinds of characters. In the second tab, you can choose animation. You can use any kind of animation with any kind of characters. So there are lots of possibilities here. For this demo, I choose this character. Then simply click on download. And in the format, choose FBX for Unity. And in the pose, choose T-Pose. Then simply click on download. Next, go to the animation section. You can choose any type of animation you want or you can search for example let's say i choose walk and i download this walking animation here you can use these parameters to modify your walk animation You can also enable this in place option if you want to use this character in a game. But for me, I'm going to use this character to create a short animated demo. So that's why I disable this option. After that, simply click on download. And again, in the format, choose FBX for Unity. And in the skin, choose without the skin. With the skin option, we'll also download your 3D model, which we have already downloaded. So that's why. To only download the animation, choose without the skin. Keep everything to default and click on download. So now we have two files. This is our 3D model which is around 16 megabytes and this is our animation clip which is around 400 kilobytes. Next I copy both files and go back to Unity. In Unity I have already prepared a basic scene using this modular low poly street pack which is available for free. I have already created a folder called animation. Next I right click and show in explorer and paste both 3D model and animation here. Let's go back to unity. Next let's first set up our 3D model. So I simply drag and drop this 3D model into the scene and as you can see it's not showing any textures. So let's first import its textures and materials. For that first I create two folders. Then select your 3D model and go to material section and first choose extract textures and select the texture folder. Click on fix now. Then click on extract materials and choose your material folder. And as you can see now our character is showing materials. You can also adjust its materials. So now if I play this scene, it won't show any animation. As you can see, it's not showing any animation because we haven't applied any animation clip to it. So now let's set up our animation clip. To set up animation, again select your character and this time go to the rig section and in the animation type, choose humanoid. And in the avatar definition, choose create from this model. Then simply click on apply and as you can see it is automatically created an avatar for this character. Next select the animation clip and in the animation type again choose humanoid and in the avatar definition choose copy from other avatar because we have already created an avatar for our main character. And here you can choose the avatar which we have just created and click on apply. And now if you go to the animation section, you can see here is the animation which is basically using this character to show this animation. Okay. Now we just need to apply this animation to this character. Now there are a couple of ways to apply this animation clip to this character. First if you want to use this character for your game, then you can create an animator controller and then using this animator panel 
you can apply and mix different kinds of animation. But for me, I'm gonna use this character to create a short animated video. So that's why I'm gonna use timeline to apply animation to this character. To do that, first I go to Windows, Sequencing and choose Timeline. I dock this timeline here. Then right click and create an empty object. I call this Timeline. Then while selecting this object, click on Create and create a timeline. And first lock this window. Next simply drag and drop your 3D object here and choose add animation track. Next right click and choose add from animation clip. And here you can choose the animation clip or you can select your animation clip and simply drag here. And you can see now our character is moving. Now you can stretch this animation clip and you can see that our character stops moving after some time. To fix this problem we need to loop our animation. To do that again go to your animation clip and simply enable this loop time option. Then click apply and now if I move my slider you can see our character is continuously moving. Next as you can see our character is walking in wrong direction. We want it to move in this direction. So to fix the direction problem select your character then right click and create an empty game object. I call this Eve. Then simply drag and drop the 3D model onto this parent object. Then adjust the rotation and position using the parent object. And now if I play, you can see now our character is moving in right direction. Now one more problem you will notice that our character is not going in a straight line. It is slightly offsetting from its path. You can see it is going in this direction instead of this straight line. Again to fix this problem, go to your animation clip and in the root transform rotation choose original and again hit apply and you can see now she is going in a perfectly straight line. In the next video I will show you how to import and mix multiple animation and create a short animated sequence. And for more advanced tutorials you can check out my patreon page link is given in the description and finally huge thanks to all of my patreon supporters and a special thanks to Hannah Sinconan, Dimidu, Kerry Lodadio, Alexander, Brandon Mannion, Florian Adrian, Francois Lobe Houdin, Fubi Liu, JB, John Marx, Luis Avelis Hernandez, Silas Renegal, and the Masti. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye bye.